Hey guys, Dr. Nika here. Do you guys wanna see what's under my coat? Same shit as the other video. Calm it down, guys. This is YouTube. Seriously though, YouTube is getting super strict with regulations, so. I just really wanted to wear it because it was laying around. And I know that I've been uploading a crap ton of videos today, bear with me. I had a day off and I figured I'm gonna upload as many freaking videos as I can to help you guys. And this one is going to be the best one with the best tip, honestly, that probably any woman is going to give you. <clears throat> this is specifically for men who are in long-term relationships with the same female and you've been with the same female for let's say two plus years and over or you've been married for a few years and not many people know this surprisingly a lot of men don't know what ovulation is and i'm not gonna get into all the boring sciencey details about that because you know what if you don't know what ovulation is at the age of 30 you need to read more books <laughs> seriously you need to read more books ovulation is not menstruation okay ovulation is we're gonna say day 14 in a typical 28 day cycle and the reason this number is so 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 important day 14 remember that number if you take nothing else away from this video remember 14 okay and it is very important because that's when women normal hormone women and by normal hormone means that she's not on the pill because that's complete just a mess okay women who are on the pill no offense, <laughs> women are a mess when they are on the pill. It's not a pretty sight. So for normal, normal hormone women who are not on the pill, day 14 is when testosterone usually peaks. And that means if she is peaking on about day 14, that means you get about four days, um, usually day 12 to 16, where it's like mid cycle, where she wants it all of the time. And you're like, well, how does this benefit me? Dude, if she wants it all the time, you better be there at the right place at the right time. You better be there because she's gonna want it a lot, a lot, a lot. And some men who are with a female for many years are like, why does she want it all of a sudden? What's wrong with her? What has gotten into you? Or did you see a hot guy now you're thinking about him? And it's not that she saw anything that like triggered her to want it, it's just hormones. Also, that is another way of saying, look, if she doesn't want it come the end of her cycle, closer to her actually starting her period, that's okay too. You have to be understanding that a lot of women do get headaches, a lot of women do go through PMS, very, very painful PMS where some women can't even move. And it's very normal to have some pain and cramping. So if she wants to be left alone, then it's best for you to leave her alone. But the reason I'm saying to kind of track her cycle and not necessarily like on your phone, like a super duper creep, but just have an idea of when she starts and that's day one, and then kind of track about two weeks into it. And you'll notice, you'll see what I'm saying. Like you're noti you'll notice that she'll lure you into the bedroom or she'll lure you into the basement or she'll lure you into the toilet or wherever because she wants it more. And you're like, this is awesome. Why can't it be like this all the time? And although that would be amazing that most women would want it all the time, um, that's not really going to ever happen because we are wired differently than men. Testosterone peaks and plummets and peaks and plummets throughout our 28 day cycle. So my best tip is to kind of keep track of her cycle, know when about day 14 is going to come and then take advantage as much as you can when those days do come because she's gonna want it quite a bit and she may want it so much that a lot of men kind of freak out and they're like i can't keep up and know that that's okay too not all men um can perform the same so it's actually very normal for a man not to be able to keep up with a woman's physical stamina during her testosterone peak which is day 14. so that's the video guys like i said if you didn't take anything else away remember that also i did see a cool fun fact if your female is working 40 hours a week and then she's still coming home and she's you notice maybe she's not um, as physical as normal then keep in mind that maybe she has other things going on at work because women we are terrible at being able to split off work and home we we are our brains are wired differently okay whereas men are more able to say kind of say okay two separate worlds um, you kind of don't think about work when you're at home but women very difficult to do that so if you notice that 
you know, maybe she's working a lot more than usual. Maybe she has more stress. Maybe help out with the kids at home or give her a foot massage or send her out to get a massage if you don't want to give her one. And you'll notice that when women are more relaxed, especially when women go on vacation after working, um, they go on these cyclical site or these cyclical uh, periods where they want it more and you're like why does she want it more all of a sudden and it comes down to just being relaxed being away from work being able to get away from the stress and the routine of daily life so that's also something else to keep in mind but if anything else day 14 guys take care take advantage of it and let me know down below how many times a week you would want your woman to uh be active with you. Hopefully it's at the very least seven, right? Hopefully, but everyone is different. So I want to see your answers down below. See you guys later. Mwah.